Hey everyone, today we are in Eufaula, Oklahoma, and we're at the Evergreen Cemetery. And we're here to look up a little bit of Old West history. I think you're going to find this one pretty interesting. Now if you want to know where we're at exactly, it's north-south 418 and east-west 120. So this is a pretty nice cemetery. It's well kept, has a nice fence around it. And the person that you want to find, if you're interested in this sort of thing, is right up front, right here. Grant Johnson. And you can see at the top of the marker, it does say Deputy U.S. Marshal. And uh, he was born April 1st, 1854, and died April 9th, 1927. Deputy U.S. Marshal down at the bottom. Now, he died in this area, Eufaula, Oklahoma. There were multiple black deputy U.S. Marshals in Indian Territory, but Grant Johnson may have been one of the best, if not the best, or at least according to some. When most people think of a black lawman, they often picture Bass Reeves, who might possibly be the greatest lawman of all time. But Grant Johnson was also a standout lawman. He has been largely forgotten today, but he was well respected as a lawman in Indian Territory for more than two decades. He was even known to work alongside Bass Reeves. The exact location of where Grant was born is unknown, but it was somewhere in northern Texas in 1854 in the middle of slavery. His father, Alex Johnson, was a Chickasaw freedman, and his mother, Miley Johnson, was a Creek freedwoman. Now, Grant was indeed African American, but he was also noted as having strong Native American features. Some have referred to him as a mixed blood or black Indian. Grant grew up speaking fluent Muscogee, which is the language of the Creeks and Seminoles. But he also spoke fluent English and could read and write as well. His size was somewhat average. He was 5 foot 9 inches and 160 pounds. He was known to carry a pair of revolvers on his hip as well as a Winchester. Newspapers in Indian Territory covered his exploits as did other states. Tales of his heroism spread throughout and the hanging judge Isaac Parker described Johnson as one of the best deputy marshals he had worked with or known in Indian Territory. Very few people were safe from arrest when Grant Johnson was on the job. In fact, he made it look easy. At one time, he arrested up to 12 people in Muskogee, Oklahoma. He only killed about three men, and it was only because he had to. It was not something that he looked forward to doing. Grant Johnson showed the kind of courage that was rare among the Old West. He went after anyone and everyone. From horse thieves, to cattle rustlers, to murderers, and everyone in between. Johnson held a U.S. Marshal's commission for 14 years. He made his home in Eufaula, Oklahoma. He was reportedly the only law officer in the area during the town's formative years. He remained a police officer there until his death in 1927. Many people of the area praised him of his courage and touted him as the best lawman there ever was. Regardless, he was well respected by everyone and he had many friends among all the races in the area. So this was just a short video about an important lawman, and I really feel that he should be more well-known than what he is. But if you're ever in the Lake Eufaula area, whether you're vacationing or you have a cabin here or whatever, stop on by this cemetery and pay your respect to an important lawman in Oklahoma history. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.